dealing with a lot of youth athletes coming in from all different parts of the world. Right. You know, are there common themes that you see in terms of skill sets, whether it's technically, whether it's training, that are weaknesses in those athletes coming in that you would, you would kind of recommend you know, the youth coaches focus on and, and be aware of that they, that they may tend to not be aware of? And does, is that different depending on where they're coming from, whether they're coming from an Australia or Germany or you're, America? You're, and you're talking about a, a university coach who's getting people from all over yeah, the world? Yeah, from the recruits yeah. you're seeing and, yeah. and from the coaching that they've received at that youth level. You know, are, mm -hmm. there, are there holes, deficiencies in that training that you feel like those, uh, those lower level coaches can, can put their focus on to try to I, better I, prepare them? I, I think they're... Uh, I think, if I understand your question right, I think you know, the country that a person comes from, they're going to be all different levels of Australians, all different levels of Brits, all different levels of Americans. Mm -hmm. I, mean, uh, I think in general, I think the reason you're seeing, for example, in the IRA school, somebody gave me a stat that 65% of the oarsmen in the finals of the IRA a few years ago 65, maybe more, 70% were internationals. Uh, a lot of that has to do with uh, time on the water. Mm. Uh, in this country, for example, this part of the world, as you well know, a boy coming from, let's say, Andover or Exeter said, well, I've rowed four years. And the reality is he hasn't rowed four years. He's rowed probably 12 months, right? 13 months. Or let's say 14 or 15 if he rows in the summer times. Right, a boy from Great Britain who's rowed for, let's say, they start younger, but they row year-round. Yeah. In Germany, Australia, all these countries, they row year-round, so they have a lot more miles under them. Uh, so, uh, but there's a full a full range of capabilities of these international oarsmen that are that are coming to the universities. Uh, how do you feel about diversification for the athletic background of your athletes versus an early specialization? You know, certainly the, you've spoken a lot about the value of, of that time on the water. Do you find there to be a benefit for, for those youth athletes to, to be involved in a lot of different sports that might develop kind of a more rounded physical athlete? Um, you know, even if rowing is their, is their, their focus or their priority uh, versus someone who's just specializing? Do you kind of? Tend toward one way or another. I don't. I, 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 I think it's undeniable that if time on the water makes a difference, mm -hmm. uh, to force that. You know, for example, you know, we have a guy that's a junior this year, uh, Liam Galloway. Oh, he's a sophomore this year. Excuse me. And we were recruiting him. Uh, he was playing ice hockey. And he said, well, coach, do you want me to stop playing ice hockey uh, my senior year? And I said, no. I said, do you really like playing hockey? He said, yeah, I love it. And I said, play hockey. Yeah. You know, uh, I was captain of my football team and wrestled in the wintertime. But then those days, that's what everybody did. Right. Uh, but, I, you know, a boy, if, you know, that spends more time on the water, he's going to be more advanced when he enters the program. Is that essential? Not really. I mean, we recruit every year, we recruit a number of people that have very limited rowing experience. And we have a very limited number of people we can recruit. But we, they have the characteristics that we talked about in the opening of this session. And they're really good athletes. Yeah. So by the time they're junior year, they can be better than somebody who spent eight or nine years on the water. Okay. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't ever force a youngster into one mold or another. If he grows up in a culture where they start rowing early and he's rowing all the time, that's great. If he grows up in a culture where it's multi-sport and he wants to play ice hockey in the wintertime, Go for it. Like you're a runner. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>